So in this video, I'm going to show you the most reliable way that I have found of migrating a subversion repository to a Git repository. So I'm in the process of picking up tech debt. I've got subversion repositories everywhere. There's some on the cloud, there's some in different places. So I'm just trying to consolidate everything and I'm going to move everything to Git. So the way that I do that, I mean, I've was using this process that I found online. It's documented a couple of places. I'm using Tortoise Git here to uh, convert using the Git clone option from Tortoise Git into subversion. It seems easy. You um, right click Tortoise Git and put in the URL for the uh, subversion repo, click from SVN repo, click OK, and it should just work. And sometimes that works, sometimes it hasn't. I've been getting issues with um, XML formats over the HTTP. I'd be getting issues with the can't locate SVN core. I was getting issues with the file format isn't correct. And so this is the solution that I have been using that is most reliable, which is to use the SVN protocol and use S Git SVN over the SVN protocol. But some of the remote servers I've been using don't support this. It's still over HTTP, it's still slow. So what I've been doing is migrating from everywhere that's remote into local subversion repository. And I'm using Visual SVN as my local subversion repository. I've got a whole bunch of stuff in there already. I'm gonna show you the process I've been using to import the one of the last ones that I'm still importing. But Visual SVN server on Windows is a really good, really robust, free SVN server. I've been using that for years and I'm now migrating away from that into just normal Git. So the first thing I have to do is I have to take an SVN dump of the remote repositories and get it as a dump file on my hard drive because I'm going to then put that in the local SVN server. So I've already done that part. What I'm going to do then is in Visual SVN, I'm going to import the existing repository from a dump file. Let me choose the file. So this is the file that I'm going to move on to now. This Windows command line manuscript. I've got loads of old projects. I'm not even thinking about whether the project is valid or not anymore. I'm just migrating away, get everything local, then I can start making decisions. Also versions, import, finish. So now I've got a repository in my SVN server. Great. I do not yet have it on my uh, Git repo. So what I have to do next is in the folder where all my SVN repositories are, what I'm going to do is just get a command line up there. I have to start a uh, SVN server. I'm going to just, this is the one that's installed with uh, just when you install SVN. Now this is because Visual SVN doesn't support the SVN protocol. So I can have this running while Visual SVN is running. This is fine. So I'm going to say start SVN server as a daemon foreground and in this current folder, right? So that will start up a SVN server that will respond to uh, the SVN protocol request. I can, when I was testing this out, I used the, I think it's minus X option just to make sure the requests were going through. Now what I need to do is in the folder that I want to bring all these into, I'll just put in this git folder. So I've got three in here already. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna git SVN clone the uh, repo. Git SVN clone. And I want it from using the SVN protocol from my current machine. And I want the Windows command line manuscript. That should be it. And then minus S. That should hopefully bring that down into here. So it's created the Git repo. We can see it happening in the folder. And then this should just work. This is because it's running locally. It's faster. I had no HTTP issues. I've not had any file parsing issues or anything like that. So that's good. So having now converted the SVN to Git, we can see that in the folder there. We can see the directory there. I have nothing on my main Git repo with the Windows title. So what I'm going to do 
is cd into the Windows command line manuscript. So now I need to add this into the remote server. So git remote add origin and it was http colon slash 192 dot seven then noble dot git dot server and I want it to be the same so I'll call it windows command line use script dot git then if I just push that so hopefully now in my repo there it is. Now I've had no issues doing it with the SVM protocol directly from the repo folder on my drive. That's been the most robust way of doing it. In theory, I could probably um, script this and make this faster, but I don't have enough repos to really justify that. But this is the simplest way I found of converting the SVN into Git and pushing it on the remote server.